During the COVID-19 pandemic, some teachers had to tackle a hybrid learning model. Some of their students attended class in person while others were remote. And in our series, Bridging the Gap Between Teachers and Students, we look at how teachers got all students involved. New at 5, Tenant Your Sides Aisha Tolliver has their hybrid learning success stories. One, two, seventy-nine, and two, three. Most classrooms are relatively quiet. But at Central Middle School in Gates County, band teacher Lee Morgan is always listening for the perfect note. She's very good at listening for the small things, so that made it a whole lot easier. Even when the tune is coming from her computer. Brayden, F to C, please. Good job. When the pandemic hit, Morgan's class of future musicians went completely virtual. Since then, some have come back, others still learning through video chat. I'll be honest, it really kind of terrified me at first because I'm like, well, how am I going to do this? Because band is an ensemble class. We play together as a group. Morgan says even though they couldn't all play at once because of the internet lag, it still worked out. They would go around and around where they could see each other and they could hear each other um, and they would help each other out. They would, they were, it was great because they would be like supportive. If someone was struggling, one kid would like type in the box and they'd be like, you're doing awesome, don't give up. What she did, like, it was great because... We were seeing each other, everybody had their cameras on. I could see everybody else playing, we would hear each other. It was nice. Things were going so well, Morgan was encouraged to put together a virtual Christmas concert around the holidays. She asked each kid to record a Christmas song and she put it together using iMovie. Well, I just really wanted to do something special for the kids. About 30 miles away, another class, this time high schoolers, were also enjoying the arts. But this time, it was language arts. And Perquimans, ninth grade English teacher Tina Mathis had also been operating through a hybrid of at-home and in-class students. Remember we finished up chapters 10 through 12 last week? She uses Google Meets to allow her remote students to participate. For her, she says the key is communication, not only with students, but also their parents. Mathis made herself available all hours through many different platforms, whatever it took. But there were many nights that I was answering emails up until 10 or 11 o'clock at night to students because they can, I give them the opportunity to text me as well. Her students say she wouldn't take failure as an option. If you say if you had made a bad grade on the quiz or something, she would reach out and ask us what do we need help with, stuff like that. She finds every little way to kind of get to us. Mathis has been a teacher for a quarter of a century. She Are there questions about that? She says using all the new technology has been a challenge, but at the core, she stuck to the basics teacher and student relationships. The relationship that we have with our students and our parents and those that are involved in the education of our children, it, it, be, it plays a big part in how they want to perceive themselves and be successful. Whether it's analyzing a book or learning to play the trumpet online, these teachers adapted and students were set up for the future. I'm Aisha Tolliver, it's on your side.